Hi everybody. This is GPS Fishing Maps reporting for another quick video on saving your zip file or any file for that matter to your desktop um, on your computer or just in general saving it from an email. Okay, in this case, um, this is in Google Chrome. These uh, these fishing spots have already been sent to this email and you would be here at your inbox this is gmail but yahoo ymail private.com emails all of it will look you know somewhat like this not exactly but um you get the idea so let's uh let's do these this is it'll be from the coastal fishing group and this is cape canaveral as you can see here okay so you'll just click on that okay and then you want to read that very carefully and then you also have um, a link to help videos here which we'll show you in another video what goes on on that page okay and the most important thing um, aside of reading that it's very important that you read that little bit of info is don't start clicking on all these files um, if you would because you may not have the software it takes to open those or what the worst can happen is some of these files will open in programs that they shouldn't Adobe Reader is famous for trying to open GPS files and it completely corrupts the file and it causes a disaster um, if you load that file to your GPS so um, just read the instructions you won't have those problems those are located here in a text file this text file will open on um, a laptop PC um, desktop PC a Mac mobile device anything pretty much because it is a text file but today we're talking about this file It'll have the name of your spots. Usually it'll say 2016.17.zip. That's where your GPS SD card files are located. In Chrome, um, this is where the attachments are located here at the bottom on your email, no matter what it may be. These attachments are found somewhere around this email. Maybe not at the bottom like this. They could be on the side over here, um, along the bottom here. But the, the point is, is to find that zip file, okay? And in Chrome, we have a nice download button no matter the course of action that you take this should be what the end result is is to download the zip file and in most computers this puts this file in the downloads folder and I'll show you that so in Chrome we're on the zip file we're going to click download it's going to drop it to the bottom here in this bar all right and conveniently you have a nice little tab here and to the right there's a little um, side tab with an arrow on it you click that and we have a nice little menu that comes up show in folder is what we want and it's going to pop up and highlight it okay we want to right click on the file that it's highlighted and click copy then you can close that window all right and then we'll minimize um, this email and any other windows you have open get back to a blank open desktop and you've got that file copied so now um, I'm going to delete this for purposes of tutorial. All right, and now you just simply right click out here in the open space and click paste out of the menu. And then you have this. And that's really all there is to saving a file, whether it be a zip file or any of the other files, from email to the desktop. But you, this is the only file you need to save because what happens inside of here is you right click on the zip file. Okay, and uh, most computers, uh, no matter what version of Windows, is going to have a zip program built in. And you right click on it. Don't ever double click to open it. The best thing to do is right click and check out your options. This is what you want, no matter what verbiage comes up. You're looking for a way to extract the files. Um, and that's what we want to click here. Okay, and we're going to extract them. And there's a string here that tells you where it's going to go. This one says C owner computer desktop. And it's going to name a folder, Cape Canaveral to Sebastian 2016-17 slash 1. Okay, it's going to create a folder with all those files extracted and unzipped and ready to use. And it's going to save it to the desktop, it says in the string. That's what we want. And it automatically does that um, when you extract it from the place where you have the folder saved in the first place, the zip file saved. So we'll just click OK, and it's going to create this automatically. It's down here. I'm going to drag it up so you can see it. And then there it is. It's been saved from the email to this zip file. We've right click and extracted it. And it has saved a folder for us with all the files unzipped right here. And there's all the files that you need. 
and they're all ready to use at this point. Here's your GPS SD card files here for Garmin, Hummerbird, Lowrance, Raymarine, and Simrad with instructions on installation of those to an SD card. Uh, everything you need is now ready to use. And we'll come back in a minute and show you how to use some of these files and, and uh, more details on how and what they're included and what they open with. Thanks for watching. Catch them up and have a great day.